I'm going to talk about a phrase that's, that's used that you might not understand, but will help you with uh, your blogging and your and adding content to your sites. It's called being sticky, and what it is, <coughs> I'll show you an example. Um, you know, this is a thing called Wikipedia. It's a it's a format that that uh, you may or may not be familiar with, but this is in relation to what is a short sale. So as it's talking about things, it then has these links, and here, it's going within itself to explain what a bank is and every blue button mortgage loan loss mitigation things like that so so you know um you know when you're when you're making a blog or you're doing content that some of the topics that you know you may it may be common knowledge to you or or you know um you know everyone you think everyone knows what's nice about it is if you could link it so like let's pretend you know that text let's say this is the this is a piece of of this of an article that you're writing, right? So, um, if this text link, if the word that you're using can relate to a page on your site that has information, you know, containing, you know, just the general stuff, you know, or even definitions, like if you have a dictionary in your website, you know, um, and when you're when you're doing that, try and link to pages that are on your site. So think about it. Think about your site and and. You know where you have your content and and where you might explain you know what is this what is that so as you are posting like you know here's um here's something that uh Stu wrote and he's got links to places and so this this content look at all the views he's getting 4700 views and it's it's a thing that um it, what he's doing is is he's using these links to you know because what the search engines do they, they look at what you're writing about, and then of the links that you put in your uh, in your content, are they going to places that relate to the topic? So the more that you can do that, two things happen: the the piece of content that you're writing, the blog or whatever that you're writing, gets more prominence in the search engines, but also the pages that you're referring to. So the more like on Trulia and on Facebook and on all these other social media sites that you can have you know like different comments and they're linking to base pages like pages that are rich within your site for that term um, your site gets ranking for that and then what what else they do is that the search engines you know um, let's go back to this let's say you have you know um, let's say it's, uh, it's been a year of doing this and you have a few hundred links to all these all these things you know and then and then specific keywords you know that that you want you know, uh, what will happen is that your site will be ranking not only for, you know, real estate agent in your area and foreclosures in your area, but it'll be ranking on on new content that you put on your site purely because the, the, the back content that has been so well indexed by the search engines, you know, they, the search engines come and visit your site and they and they, they check to see, you know, where everything's in this and they basically will, will bless a page that, okay, yeah, this is a good page for this kind of keyword well if you have enough real estate keywords and you have enough you know um uh area like whatever your city is and your main cities you know you have content about that and real estate whatever so when you put if you have enough content that that's ranked by the search engines and you put a new piece of content that talks about you know maybe one or two three one two three uh four different types of, uh, of pages that you have on that are top ranked that new page gets a lot more action on the search engines because your site has become a base of for uh, a referral, what they call it, where it's 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 got a reputation by the search engines to be good about real estate, to be good about you know uh, you know um, Parkland, you know uh, as a city, it's good about you know certain topics that are relating to real estate. So that's the thing that that um, you want to do. So when you're writing, don't go crazy and don't don't like you know don't don't put the same word five times in a blog, but after you do your blog, first write your blog for you and for your for the person that's asking a question or, or a topic that came up. Then look at it like, okay, can I link any of these words, like, like, in this, and link it back to my site? And and if you don't have content, let's say you have, you know, you have uh, you're missing pages for certain content. Um, if you're a client of ours. Just um, you know, go in your help center and say, "Hey, I need a, a page of content that is talking about this," and we'll we'll put it in uh, for you. It's only for the uh, Facebook uh, users. And if you don't have a site with us, um, that's okay. Uh, send me just email me uh, through Facebook, and I will um, 
I'll try and do something for you, uh, no charge, just just to get to you to see that that you know what we're doing is is uh, is better than what everyone else is saying for you to do. Okay, so um, I hope that helps. And if you have any more questions, just give me a holler. See ya.